Welcome to AP Biology. Today I'm just going to go over the tree thinking challenge um, questions because a lot of students struggle with this. So we're looking at this phylogenetic tree and we want to know how the green algae is related to the others. So if you look at the green algae here, you need to go back in time to a common ancestor. And the first one says it's more closely related to the red algae than to the moss. And that's not true because if you go back in time, here's a common ancestor with the green algae and the moss. So the green algae is more closely related to the moss than the red algae. That is true because, again, here's the green algae, here's the moss. Here's where their lineage is branched. You would have to go back further in time, right? Down here is a long, long time ago. And so this is a more distant common ancestor between uh, the green algae and the red algae. Moss is more recent. Up here is now, right? So it's more recent. Okay, next one. We've got a crocodile, so we want to see who the crocodile is more closely related to. So here's the crocodile. Let's go back in time. Here's a common ancestor between the crocodile and the dinosaur and the bird. The lizard would be further away. So this says it's more closely related to a lizard than a bird. Not true. So even though the crocodile is sitting here right next to the lizard, it is actually more closely related to the bird because you have to judge by who is their common ancestor, right? So the bird and the crocodile share a common ancestor. You have to go back in time further ago, right? This is long ago, way down here. Here's a common ancestor in the more distant past. Okay, how about this one, seal? Who is the seal more closely related to? Ooh, if you look at this phylogenetic tree, I can see right away, I go down to the common ancestor. The seal is equally related to everybody because here's its common ancestor. None of them branch off of um, this path. So the seal is equally related to everybody. Okay, how about the next? Which of the five marks in the tree shown corresponds to the most recent common ancestor of a mushroom and a sponge? So here's a mushroom, here's a sponge. Go back in time until they meet. The answer here is D. If you were to add a trout, right, which is a fish, to the, phyla, uh, to the phylogeny shown, where would its lineage attach? And so there's probably more than one right answer here. Um, here's a snake and a lizard. These are both reptiles, which you may or may not know. And a human is a mammal. And then a newt is uh, an amphibian. And then a salmon is a fish. And so I would probably put it right here, um, the trout, right? because it's more closely related to the fish, uh, the other fish than everybody else. Um, e would be a wrong answer, but it could have been A, um, could even have been D, or could have even been B, right, if it branches off of here. Um, I would guess that C is the right answer there, but this is a little too ambiguous um, for it to show up on a test. They're not very different fish. Uh, it's not like one is cartilaginous and one is bony or something. So I think C is the right answer there. Okay, um, which of the which of the trees below is false given the larger phylogeny to the right? Okay, so what this is trying to say um, is that there's more organisms on this one uh, than on the others, but that's okay. You can still have a partial family tree as long as it's correct. So A is showing that the lily and the pine are the most closely related. Let's see. Yep, lily and pine are the most closely related. And then from there, lily, pine, and fern is next. So lily, pine, yep, fern is next. Here's the common ancestor there. And then you're going backwards to the green algae here, going back in time. Green algae is most closely related next. And that's true here too, very good. And then human, off in the distance, excellent. So this one is true. This is um, just fine for a common ancestor and we're looking for faults. Okay, so Let's get rid of this and try the next one. And you really do kind of just have to go through each of these. So this one is showing yeast and human closest. And yep, this one also has yeast and human close. And then after that would be green algae. And so going backwards here, here's a relationship with green algae. So as long as I don't see pine, lily, and fern, which I don't see here, that one seems okay too. So back before the green algae, the next common ancestor is with Giardia. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but here we go. Yep, that looks good. And then the most distant is E. coli here. That's true here too. So this one also looks true. So you're really just going back to see 
who the common ancestor is. So let's look at the next one here. This one is showing green algae and pine close. So green algae and pine. Uh, yeah, they would be closest as long as I don't see any lily or fern, which I don't see here, so that looks okay. And then they have human and yeast very close, and that is also true on this one. Um, I know that green algae and pine looks like the ancestors longer ago, so sometimes people circle this one as the wrong one. Um, and I, I can definitely see what you mean with that. So if that's what you were looking at, then your, your understanding of this is pretty nuanced. So you're actually doing a, a, a good job with it. I think they're kind of looking at it relatively, just making sure that it doesn't have any like branches that are wrong. So let's just look for branches. So E. coli, the most distant. So this one I would say is true-ish. Whoops. Wow. I was going to spell true-ish, but let's just leave it at that. Okay, so then the last one. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this one has yeast and lily close. So here's yeast and here's lily. And so here's their common ancestor. So that is only true as long as there's no human, fern, pine, or algae. But I do see pine here. So this one is false. This is saying that lily and yeast share a more recent common ancestor than either of them do with pine, but that's not true. Lily and pine here have a very co close common ancestor compared to yeast, right? So this one is definitely the false one. So that's what I'm looking for. All right, which of the four trees to the right depicts a different pattern? Okay, so this one has D and E close, and this one has D and E close. It doesn't matter if it goes D, E, or E, D, same thing. This one also D and E. Okay, so they all have that. And then the next closest on this one looks like C. And ooh, that's true here, right? And it's true here. But this one is a little different. This one's saying that C is closer to B than it is to E and D, which is not the case here. B is more distant. B is more distant. C, ancestors down here. B is more distant, right? So C is actually more closely related to E, D. C is closer to D and E. C is closer to D and E. This is the only one that shows that C is not more close, more closely related to E and D. It's actually showing more closely related to C. So that one's different. And that is it for tree thinking 